All right, so my name is Patrick. I am the developer of JT Export, the one and only Andro uh, Android app that implements the virtual owner standards on, uh, on Android and also uh, like in general, actually, except for some, uh, some other for two Linux applications, in fact. So, but in this talk, I don't want to talk so much about the Android app itself. I would like to talk about the context, what brought us to the, to the fact that we wanted to, to implement this, um, uh, this app. So, I was saying the VJournal standard. So in order to give you some context, what is the VJournal standard actually? We need to go one step back to the iCalendar standard. Before we already heard about the vEvent uh, component in the iCalendar standard. So let's go to this question. What is iCalendar? So the definition here says the iCalendar is a, a media type which allows you to, uh, sorry, to, uh, to store and exchange calendaring and scheduling information such as events, to-dos, journal entries, free busy information. So it's not only about calendaring, it's also the whole context of calendaring. There's also the to-do component, the v-to-do component, and the v-journal component. The v-event component you might know from, uh, from normal ca calendar entries. When you export any calendar entry from your calendar, you end up getting an ICS file. The ICS file contains the, the iCalendar format that has an iCalendar core object that wraps the v-event component. Yeah? There inside, we have the textual interpretation of, this, um, of, the, of the event itself. The same for v to do's. A to do is just like a task. We have this task uh, component inside the iCalendar uh, core object. And yeah, this is our textual interpretation of, um, of the task. The v event is, is widely used, so it's like the de facto standard on the internet to exchange uh, calendar entries. The v to do not so much anymore, but still it is used. And the v journal is almost not used at all. So, what is the vJournal actually? So, the vJournal attaches descriptive text to a particular calendar date. So, basically we have an event that does have a start date or has a date, but no end date. So, it doesn't cover up any space in the calendar. Yeah, so we can have a start date. We could also have just not a start date, which would just make this entry a note. Yeah. So, basically it defines a format, like an interoperable format to exchange journal entries like a diary or meeting minutes over the internet and uh, yeah, also to ex uh, a format to exchange notes with other, with other apps. Yeah, currently, this, um, although the standard was defined many, many years ago, there's only K-Organizer and Evolution, the Evolution client on, on Linux that actually supports this, um, this component inside the standard. So why, why did we actually want to, to implement this um, JT export? Because exactly of this reason. Yeah? The standard was defined many years ago. There were almost no applications that supported this, um, this standard. Yeah, and we just wanted to be the first. We wanted to give the, yeah, this food for thought to actually do as we did, make another app, make more diverse, interoperable um, apps that, uh, that can support notes and, uh, and journals. Yeah, but so we decided not only to do the, the vJournal component, we also said let's, uh, let's also support the vToDo component inside. So we don't only have the, the notes and journals, but also the tasks inside. Because the standard actually allows the, comp the, the linking of those entries. So we can say we have a journal entry, like our meeting minutes, we write our text, but then usually after a meeting, we also have some tasks to do. And we link directly our tasks to this, um, our, our V to do's actually, to our V journal. Yeah. That's all included in the standard. So basically, if other apps would just support what the standard defines, you could have like a very, very powerful tool to, to, where you can link one component to each other um, and have like a complete picture of, um, of what is going on. So, we already heard before about DAFX5, so the question is, now we implement this locally, like uh, JT export would just work uh, as a standalone app as well. You can export entries in an ICS format, but uh, you also won't like to synchronize your entries over the internet. So that's why we said DAFX5 is the logical step. 
you say, let's continue, let's enable the app to, to also synchronize vJournals and uh, yeah. As, as anyway, CalDAV servers, a lot of CalDAV servers, including Nextcloud, already support this component. Um, yeah, it was just a logical step to also enable this in, uh, in DAFX5. Yeah, and we, as we already heard before, it's DAFX5 gives you this free choice of uh, if your server infrastructure. Theoretically, also, you could use another app for, for tasks, but um, JT Export is the only app that supports uh, the vJournal standard at the moment. Yeah, so the development is ongoing. We are continuing to develop um, new features. We do a refactoring in Jetpack Compose, a new uh, UI framework from, uh, from Android. A, a widget will come. The calendar integration will be an interesting topic when we say we have journals, notes, and tasks, and maybe a fourth tab in the, um, in the, in the app for uh, calendar entries. So you can not only link journals and tasks, but also link your tasks to a specific calendar entry. Yeah. And one uh, thing that I would like to point out, as JT Export is the only app uh, that currently supports this, uh, this component on Android, maybe one of you is interested to make something similar for Nextcloud. So basically, Nextcloud does not offer a front end for editing uh, vJournals at the moment. So if you feel like starting a project, I think it could be a really interesting and um, yeah, enriching project for the whole community. Yeah, to, to close this, uh, this talk, here's some links where you can find out more. Try it out, I hope I could inspire you to also get some, a bit deeper into this uh, topic. If you have any questions, we'll be around. Grab a sticker, grab a flyer. Let's have a conversation, or if you really would like to start a project to uh, implement, implement something for Nextcloud, it would be a great, uh, a great idea. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for this high-speed talk of yours.